So in this session we are going to discuss some factors that affects the acoustics of the building and their remedies. So let us start with reverberation and reverberation time, right? Basically the time taken by the sound to fall below its minimum audibility level is known as reverberation time. Okay, I repeat again, the time taken by the sound to fall below its minimum audibility level is known as reverberation time. And the persistence or prolongation of sound, even after the source has stopped emitting the sound or the source has cut off, is known as reverberation. So, reverberation time should be maintained at an optimum value, right? Of course, it depends upon the structure of the building. For example, for theatres, right uh, it should be its value will be high and for classroom or the small particular labs or rooms it will be low okay so it depends upon the structure of the building but it should be maintained at an optimum value right if it is too low if the reverberation time is too low loudness will be inadequate and if it is too long if it, the value of reverberation time is high then it will create confusion, right? Sentences will be overlapped, right? So it will create confusion. So the reverberation time should be maintained at an optimum value. So as a solution for this, there are some remedies such as by providing windows and openings, right? Or by covering floor with carpets or by covering windows with uh, curtains, right? So these are the different remedies uh, that we should right uh, require for the for to keep the reversion time at an optimum value okay so next factor is loudness so sometimes what happens due to excess usage of sound absorbing materials loudness may get reduced okay sometimes there are so many sound absorbing materials in a room that loudness may get reduced so uniform distribution is very important in a hall, right? Loudness should be adequate. So in order to remain uh, the uniform distribution of loudness, the remedies are you should construct low ceilings. Okay, low if low ceilings are constructed, then loud the distribution will be uniform. Okay, or by using loudspeakers, if there is uh, like loudness is reduced, then you can use loudspeakers. Okay, also uh, sound absorbing materials, uh, proper sound absorbing materials should be used at proper places only. Unnecessarily, sound absorbing materials should not be placed everywhere. Right, so it, proper sound absorbing materials should be placed at proper places only. So this is the third remedy of loudness, right? Okay, so third factor is focusing and interference. So what happens, the presence of concave surfaces or curved surfaces in a room may make sound to be concentrated at focus region, okay? In addition to focusing, there should not be interference effects due to reflected waves. So if there is any concave surface present in any room, so what happens, sound waves goes to the surface and gets concentrated on a particular area. So sound gets focused on a particular area. Also due to the curved surfaces or concave surfaces, when the sound waves strike the surface, they will get reflected. If they reflect, then the phenomena of interference occurs, such as constructive and destructive phenomena can happen. If constructive uh, interference occurs, then what happens, the sound intensity will be maximum at a particular area. And if destructive interference occurs, then sound intensity will be minimum or zero. 
right so where the sound intensity mini, uh, intensity is minimum that spaces are known as dead spaces so there should not be any dead spaces and sound sound should be distributed uniformly so in order to remove the uh, phenomena of focusing or an interference then curved surfaces should be avoided we should not use curved surfaces in a room okay or if curved surfaces are present then we should try to cover it with any sound absorbing material so that the sounds gets absorbed by the sound absorbing material on the curved surface and they do not get reflected okay so this is focusing an interference okay so next uh, factor is echo so we know that the reflected sound is known as echo it is said that if the reflected sound come back in less than 1 by 15 second of the sound then it helps in increasing the loudness otherwise it will create confusion so echo is heard due to reflection from a distant object so this uh, factor this effect of uh, echo can be reduced by covering the long distances walls or if there are any reflecting surfaces in a room right or high ceilings so covering this walls or reflecting surfaces and high ceilings with sound absorbing material can help us to reduce the effect of echo okay so next is echelon effect echelon effect refers to the generation of separate uh, generation of separation due to multiple echoes right it is basically uh, a new sound right it is basically a new sound generated due to multiple echoes let us understand in this way suppose a classroom is there on the first floor so when the class is ended all the students get back to the ground floor through the stairs so when the large amount of students uh, go through the stairs there will be a, a echo produced from each of the stairs right so this echo combines and produces a new sound due to multiple echoes which is known as echelon effect this is the reason that you must have seen that in theaters stairs are being covered with sound absorbing material with a carpet okay with that is having a porous sound absorbing material right being made by a porous sound absorbing material so in auditorium in large halls in theaters carpet is being used of porous sound absorbing material so that echelon effect can be reduced okay next effect uh, next factor that affects the acoustics is resonance so resonance means matching of frequency so what happens if the window panels or the section of doors are not fitted properly then they may start vibrating in such a way that they create extra sound right due to the matching of frequency so the only remedy of uh, to reduce resonance is that windows and doors should be fitted properly okay windows and doors should be fitted properly in order to reduce resonance okay so now the last factor is noise and this noise is divided into three category air born noise structure born noise and inside noise so first of all let us start with air born noise so air born noise is the extra noise which is coming in uh, from outside the room okay in the room through open windows doors and ventilators right suppose uh, a classroom is being taken right if a class is taken in a classroom and uh, if the door is open or the windows are open and the noise is coming extra unwanted sound is coming from outside the room then it is considered as air born noise right so what are its remedies room can be made or air condition right if ac is there then all the ventilation will be uh, will not be there right windows will be covered right windows will be closed it will 
will be covered with country curtains doors will be fitted properly so in order to use uh, reduce the problem of air or noise we should make room air conditioned then the next is structure bond noise this noise is being conveyed through the structure it is called structure bond noise for example if you are living in a flat then uh, if the uh, flat above your uh, flat is making some noise if it uh, if someone is hitting any door then you can hear it uh, in your house right so this is this is a type of noise right uh, that is uh, being conveyed through the structure of the building right so what happens by using double walls or double right uh, ceilings with air space this type of uh, problem can be reduced right or anti vibration mount by using anti vibration mount this type of noise can be reduced then there is inside noise so no, the noise which are produced inside the hall is called inside noise for example ac fans Typewriters, the sound of keyboard, the sound of mouse, the sound of refrigerator, right? All this type of sound that is produced inside only is known as inside noise. So, what can be done? Such machinery should be placed with sound absorbing material. There should be a mouse uh, sound absorbing material on which mouse should be kept. So, the sound of mouse clicking a mouse can be reduced. right there should be a, a sound absorbing material under the keyboard so the, the typing or the sound of typing can be reduced in this way sound absorbing if we place sound absorbing material under such machineries then the sound can be reduced so these are the seven factors that majorly affects the acoustics of the building and their relevance